So Laos is becoming a more popular tourist destination with its unmeasurable amount of nature and the incredible beautiful local traditions and cultures. There is more and more people coming to Laos nowadays. But before you come into Laos, you need to understand that there are things you cannot do. Yep. So in this video, we are going to be telling you our top five things that we think you should never do when you come to Laos. Nope. Without further ado, let's dive into the first thing you shouldn't do when you're here in Laos and that is honking, beeping. You know when you drive a car or a bike and there's like a button where you do like beep, a lot of noise, it's called beeping, honking, you call it whatever you want. In Laos it's considered quite rude and it's basically because you are releasing your emotions when you're beeping. You know when you're stuck in traffic and you're like move out of my way you just beep so me and Olivia before we arrived in Laos we were in Vietnam as you know Vietnam is a very busy place there's a lot of traffic it is absolute madness compared to Laos there's bikes everywhere fuck it up okay we'll be okay <laughs> then it Did that just as a press record. So we arrived here and we didn't know anything about Laos and things you should or should not do. So first few weeks we were just honking at everybody, beeping at everybody, get out of my way. And obviously in Vietnam it's used to communicate to prevent accidents and so on. But in Laos people don't do such things. So it took us a little while to realize that and we did feel a little bit bad about it. But from now on we don't just go and honk at everybody, don't beep, we don't really beep at all anymore. No. So number one thing you should never do when you're in Laos is honk at people with your motorbike. Don't do that, it's rude. So the second thing you should never do when you're in Laos is wear your shoes inside someone's home. Usually you are expected to take off your shoes every time you enter a home or even some businesses as well. We have a pretty funny story of when I had my first job interview here. We spent the whole day going around looking for some nice shoes for me to wear because all I had was like traveling shoes, super dirty, not appropriate for that and I dragged you around all day shopping and then when I arrived to the interview the first thing they asked me to do was take off my shoes. So. You really shouldn't wear your shoes inside someone's house. I mean, for me personally, I feel like for me it's something normal because where I'm from in Lithuania, taking shoes before you walk in someone's house is something normal. We are yeah. used to it, you know. I watched in movies like, it's, you know, like I was like, Why, how come kids come in to the bedroom laying down with their shoes on the bed? Like, it's crazy. I, my mom would kill me right away. So take off your shoes anywhere if you go to someone's house in Laos because it's kind of rude to walk inside with your shoes on. Thing number three you should never do when you're in Laos is argue with the local police. Arguing with the local police is something that people have been doing for a long time because no matter how careful you'll be driving, eventually you'll get stopped by the police. And then if you do get stopped by the police, the last thing you want to do is argue with them, okay? Everybody respects police in Southeast Asian countries, you know? So when it comes to police, they're most likely going to tell you the reason why they stopped you. So it could be a broken law, maybe you drive too fast, drove through a red light, or you just need to show your driving license. You better don't go argue with the guy, simply agree with the policeman, do what you're told to do, give him a little fine, be very patient, smile, and I promise you, they probably will let you go. Just make sure you don't ever argue with the police here in Laos, because I promise you, there's no argument ever won once you argue with the police here. Yeah, and usually the police here in Laos are actually really chilled. We've never had any major problems with them. We've just been super respectful. It's only in other countries like Vietnam and Thailand yeah. where it's a bit more strict and scarier so they're really nice here of course because you need to, to think police are also just normal people like everybody else you know and if you go and yeah. start to be rude in front of them they will not appreciate that so just no. simply keep that in mind don't be rude and don't argue with the police here in Laos before we crack on with the next thing you should not do in Laos I'd like to quickly mention some people who were supporting us so much after the last video release when we said we're gonna stay here in Laos so we'd like to quickly mention Tim and Christina for supporting us on Patreon. Thank you so much guys. It really means a lot to us, especially times like these. Yeah, it's amazing. Like we're so overwhelmed yes, by how thank many you guys. of you are helping us out. And also thank you to George and KP in America for your donation on PayPal. Wow, we are blown away. And also Ot as well. 
We appreciate all Thank you guys you. so Thank much. Thank you so much. Uh, some of you, you know, asked us to like uh, uh, do up a bike and we are going to do that because I feel it's gonna be some extreme times coming in soon. <laughs> but now we're gonna crack on with the rest of the reasons what you should not do in Laos. The fourth thing you should never do when you come to Laos is public displays of affection. So the Lao people are quite traditional, they're quite reserved. It's not as developed as places like Bangkok, Thailand or any of these kind of big cities. You know, the whole country is very laid back. So if you're with your partner here in Laos, it's not really cool to be kissing like in public, showing affection, holding hands. People don't really do that here. It is a Buddhist country, so we have to respect that as well. So make sure you don't do that when you come yeah, to Laos. Yeah, don't be spanking your girlfriend's butt in public <laughs> or giving her little secret kisses, you know. My, maybe no one will be able to see you there, but you know, if they do see you, it's kind of rude, it's kind of inappropriate. Yeah. So if you're here, it's better to respect the country's, you know, sort of like standards. So don't be making out in public, man. The fifth most important thing you should never do in Laos is hiking without a guide. As you probably know already, Laos is unfortunately the most bombed country in the entire planet. It's so bombed that even today people are suffering from it. So if you're gonna go and hike, if you're gonna go and camp somewhere, make sure you have some sort of guide or somewhere like someone local who will try to guide you through like the right paths because there's so many mines right now, you know, bombed and left by Americans right now that it's crazy. I just saw a post on the internet like the other day, they just dug another 20 bombs in, in another province, so there's so many until today. Myself, I didn't go to the jungle not that long ago, if you guys, not sure if you remember my survival series with the Hmong tribal people but these people they know the jungle they know the track they know the trails they know which places are safe and which places aren't so if I was going there by myself I would not be going and exploring this far so the reason I was going there this far is only because I have a guide so if you're gonna hike in Laos make sure you get a guide because it's really dangerous and it's really not worth to take the risk yeah even in places like Nong Kiao, they would have big signs at the beginning of the trek saying UXO unexploded bombs in this area don't go off the path which is kind of like makes you a bit nervous when you're about to trek up a mountain yeah. but <laughs> as long as you stay on the path you will be fine yes so these are the main five things we think you shouldn't do in Laos obviously guys you must understand there's many many more things you should not do in Laos but some things are pretty common sense as you probably know Laos is a, a Buddhist country and in a Buddhist country you shouldn't be smoking inside of a temple you shouldn't be touching the monks or like wearing a bikini inside of a temple it's something that is common sense so we didn't include those things in the top five things you shouldn't do in Laos and yeah. we believe that you understand what we, where we're coming from. So we really hope that these five things were helpful for anyone who's thinking about coming to Laos or just Southeast Asia in general because some of these apply to a few different countries. And if you guys have any funny stories about you going into a country with a completely different culture and making some mistakes, maybe you learned things the hard way of what you could and couldn't do, share those with us and we'd love to read those as well so if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to hit that like button um, it really helps us out and subscribe if you haven't already to see more of our content it's free so don't worry press the subscribe button and we'll see you next time